If you have to find out the top five and the bottom five from your data set, this is how you do it. First, we're gonna find the top five quantities sold simply by using a function called large. The first argument would be the quantity sold column, followed by the second argument is the rank column. Close parenthesis and hit enter and it will give you the top five quantities sold. Now to find out the bottom five quantities sold, simply use another function called small, open parenthesis. Again, the first one would be the array where you want to look for the bottom five, which is the quantity sold column itself, comma, and the rank column from one to five like this. Close parenthesis and hit enter and it will show you the bottom five quantity that was sold. Now it doesn't make sense just to show quantity. You want to have a name associated with it. We're going to start off with using the match function here and basically looking for this particular quantity sold on this column here. Now we're going to make it both row and column fixed by pressing F4 here and then comma zero the third argument as an exact match. Close parenthesis and hit enter. And this match function actually returns the index or the location where this number occurs here, which happens to be the second position here. Now we can use the index function here like this against the location where you want to look for the name for, comma, and then the match function, close parenthesis on the index function like this. And this is going to return the name of the person. Now you're going to make this into a fix row and column by pressing F4 here so that when we copy the formula right across every row, it stays consistent there. So these are the names associated with the quantity sold. Now to get the bottom five names, you simply copy the same formula here like this on the clipboard and paste it. But instead of quantity sold on the top five, we're going to move it to bottom five like this and hit enter and apply the same formula across every row. And that's how you get the top five and bottom five quantity sold and names. Next, we're going to go ahead and highlight the top five row in our main data set. Go ahead and highlight your data set like this. Go to conditional formatting, manage rule, new rule, use formula, and the formula will be equal to match. And what we're looking for will be in $B5 like this, and then comma. And where we're going to look for will be on the top five table under the name column like this, comma zero to indicate exact. Now click on format, then you go to fill, and the color that we're going to fill it with would be this one here. And after that, let's go to the font tab, go this color, maybe change to this color, click on OK, OK, and apply. Now for our bottom five, we're going to duplicate this same rule, double click on it, and just going to change this second argument in here to reflect the bottom five names, and then change the fill color to red and the font color to red, and click on OK, OK, and OK one more time. And there you have it. That's how you do the top five and bottom five and highlight them on your main data set.